Hello and welcome back to In the Footsteps of the Maccabees. We're now uh, in the old city of Jerusalem. Behind me, this is the neighborhoods just south of the old city. This is our final stop, but before we talk about Jerusalem, I just want to pick up where we left off at the last video. Uh, Judah Maccabee defeated Lysias in the battle at Beit Sur, but Lysias and his huge army, they weren't planning on giving up so quickly. They were really planning to just regroup and mount another attack on Judah Maccabee. Um, but before they were able to do that, something happened whose timing was truly miraculous. Uh, Lysias received a message that Antiochus, the emperor, had just been wounded in battle. He was fighting all the way on the other side of the empire against the Parthians in Persia, and he was wounded. It was not known how much longer he would live. So hearing that, Lysias, who was the second in command, he knew that there would soon be a struggle over the succession of the empire, and he packed up his army, abandoned Judea, and went back to Syria to make sure that whoever the next ruler was, he would remain, uh, Lysias would remain in a position of power. Um, so now, after that happened, Judah Maccabee was jubilant. He had just been given control to do whatever he wanted in Judea. The Seleucid forces were just gone. So he came back up to Jerusalem. And in his day, Jerusalem actually was south of the modern old city of Jerusalem, whose walls were actually built much, much later in the 1500s. So in the days of the Maccabees, um, the boundaries of Jerusalem was actually south of today's old city. To my right, a little bit low down, is Ir David, um, which was rebuilt when Jews came back from Babylon at the beginning of the Second Temple period. That was all Jerusalem was, just the small area of Ir David. And then a little bit later in the Hellenistic period, the city spread uh, to the west. You can see there's a little mountain here and there's a bit of a valley in between. The topography has changed a little bit over many times, the, the city being destroyed and rebuilt. But you had the old eastern part of the city and then a newer western hilltop of the city with a valley in between. That valley is referred to by Josephus as the Tyropean Valley. And there were bridges connecting sort of the two sections of Jerusalem. And it was the western part of the city that was in, under the firm control of the Hellenized Jews and that's where the Accra fortress was and still some Seleucid soldiers that Judah Maccabee didn't really want to contest. His strength was not in laying siege and fighting against a fortress. So he let them be in the western part of the city instead occupied just the eastern part of the city, which had access to the Temple Mount, which is wrapped around just behind me, you can't see. And then he was able to do what he wanted in the temple. Backdrop behind me requires no introduction. Uh, when Judah Maccabee and his followers came back to the temple, they were appalled by what they saw. Um, they saw an idol that had been set up that was in the image of Zeus, but the face was the face of Antiochus. Um, there were also unkosher animals being sacrificed on the, on the altar. So uh, Judah's followers, they all started to tear their clothing wear ash and sackcloth and mourn. But Judah said, we don't have time for this. Let's get to work. Uh, so he led them in cleaning up the temple, removing all the idols and unkosher animals and rededicating the temple. And it was exactly three years to the date that that idol was, was set in the temple on the 25th of Kislev that they re-inaugurated the temple. And that's when they found the pure jug of oil and the miracle happened um, and after that Judah Maccabee sent letters to Jews all throughout the country and the diaspora telling them to continue year after year to celebrate the holiday of Hanukkah and that's what we continue to celebrate till this day. So after this great success of the Maccabees the war was still far from over. The, the new emperor of the Seleucid Empire would come back with a vengeance, the battles over control of Judea, over Jerusalem and even the temple would continue. Eventually the Hashmonaim would emerge victorious and establish a prosperous dynasty for over 100 years. But it took a long time for, for that stability 
to, to happen. But the one victory that was achieved when they established the Holy of Hanukkah and that remained even throughout the battles and war that continued was the freedom of religion. No future king of the Seleucid Empire ever tried again to attempt to outlaw the Torah. Hanukkah Sameach and thanks for watching.